Hello everyone, my name is Christine and I'd like to take us through how you can design your own geodatabase topology within the ArcGIS Pro environment. So if you have features that are coincident and share the same location of coordinates, boundaries or nodes, geodatabase topology can help you better manage your geographic data and it can help you ensure data integrity in the sense that you can use topologies to model special relationships between features and this can enable you to perform various analytical operations such as you're able to find adjacent features if you're working with coincident boundaries between features and navigating along connected lines that would be the best use cases for topology so in our case we will be working with parcels data for an area in Nairobi whereby we have parcels and we know that the one rule between parcels is that you wouldn't want to have parcels that have overlaps so that's one thing so we can define such a rule using topology in ArcGIS Pro so to do that we can use the catalog pane so for starters we need to ensure that our topology rules are residing in a feature dataset within a geodatabase the next step is that we want to add our parcels layer onto our feature dataset so we can just click on it and then drag it and that is moving it to the parcels the parcels feature dataset and then the next bit we now want to create our own now topology so we right click on the parcels feature dataset new and then new topology for the name we are going to call it parcels underscore topology and then we are going to leave the XY cluster tolerance and the Z as default and then for feature classes if we had more than one layer within our feature dataset we would have them listed here and we would have to select one of them or more so for our case we only have one layer which is the parcels layer within the feature dataset so click on or select the feature dataset and then now we are going to add the rules or specify the rules for our feature dataset so click on next then we are going to click here to add a new rule and for our rule is that our parcels must not have an overlap so the rule is going to be must not overlap then click on next look at the summary and then click finish to create the topology once we design the topology we can go back to our geodatabase right click it and then refresh then we can expand our feature dataset to see that our parcels topology has been created so we're just going to add it onto our map and then we can go to edit then under topology we can select the parcels topology that we just created the next thing we want to do is that we want to validate against our rules to see whether our feature layer is abiding to the rules we just set for our topology so to do that under the editing tab click on modify and then validate all and then we can already see that there is an issue with our layer we can see that there already is an overlap so we want to see how we can rectify this so we can click on error inspector and we can expand it and see that we have one error that's saying that there is an overlap and then we can even look at the fix button to see whether there is a suggestion on how we can fix this issue so if not we can go back to modify and say we want to modify these two parcels so that one of them does not overlap the other one way to fix this issue we can choose to split our polygon so that that 
the two polygons or the two parcels do not overlap at any one point so click on split and then we're just going to draw a line on where we want to cut it from or to split the two polygons from and right click and then click finish you can see that already the second polygon is not touching the other side so it's either we choose to delete one of the split features already so you want to check the parts or the parcel the parcel bit that is overlapping so we can open the attributes table and we want to delete this one so we can just click on delete click on yes and then once we do that we can see that the overlap has been removed and there are no errors with for our parcels so this is an easier way to handle geometry issues or geometry coincidences that you might be having with your parcels so if i go back to my modify features and i try to validate again i shouldn't find or i shouldn't be having any any error so if i try to validate all i can see that currently there aren't any issues based on the topology rules means that my feature layers or my data records are all abiding to the topology rule that i just set